Go! Okay, now let's read old Dranok. Although it sort of shot sun is about 90% the mass of soul and half as luminous, Ranok is arid by Earth's standards because it formed closer to its star and has a slightly less ocean courage. For the synthetic life is concentrated around rivers and oceans, with large expanses of desert in between. The importance of plant life and shade in ancient Quarian culture is evident in the translation of Ranok, World Garden. To a starship sensor, the most obvious feature of the Aquarian homeworld is the numerous heat sources in orbit. Thousands of get space stations watch over the planet. Somewhere, this artificial swarm of construction lurks the get armada, waiting for its moment to counterattack. Population and now Aquarian estimates on the number of get rates from the tens of millions to the single digit billions. Estimates on the number of get consciousness stored in servers are higher. Okay, let's save the Admiral first, I guess. Alright, Tali is no longer required to come. And we just went in and Tali. So let's continue with my original plan. Okay. Which is Garrus and all the other guys. Let's go with Vega. Okay, let's give a shot. And what Love Shack was telling us. Well, it is more accurate. He was quite correct. Much more accurate. Thanks, Love Shack. Let's start using the Geth Pulse rifle as well. Just to see how it works. Almost full of reputation. 
And as I suspected, yeah. Three fifths renegade, two fifths paragon. Guessing that. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zap. Have you reached Alcoris's escape pod? Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Alcoris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Searching for their lost admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. They'll be torn to pieces. Naturally, but the civilian captains have deluded themselves into thinking they can reach the mass relay in time. <laughs> Hopefully Chorus can stop the fools from presenting the Geth with such easy targets. The Geth have dug in down there. I might not bring back good news. It was always a possibility. There will be no blame if you come back empty-handed, Commander. I'm getting some <laughs> static. It appears our chorus crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it to contact you. Zen? Admiral Zen? Well, this should make things interesting. We'll see in a minute. Take us into the tower. We're taking fire. Thanks for pointing out the obvious. The Geth installed anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. That's one way to cover your ass. One also awful way to cover your ass. Ah! I may find him dead. He might be dead. What the fuck? That's still an M now version one? I doubt that. That's interesting. Thought I had upgraded that. Okay. Doesn't matter. Then let's put him in the Geth rifles. Yeah. Effective against armor, so let's put it in number six. Frag grenade, let's put it in seven. This one, let's put it in four. Put this one in five, I guess. Right. Yeah, one easy way to cover your ass. He might be dead! And the other woman is no better. Yeah! If, he, if you find him dead, we go in. No one will blame you, Commander! You did your best, Commander! They want that guy killed because he is... Now he's against the invasion. I'm on it. Jamming towers. Clever. But if we just towed in some asteroids... You'd turn half the planet into a crater. True. Meteors are hard to aim. Okay, let's see how we do with these guys. Apparently Mr. Vega is not quite talkative as he was in the ship. Roger that. Uh. 
Affirmative. Thing. He looks like he's praying, doesn't he? Ah, he's up here. Okay. Death Quarian. You okay, Commander? I'm okay. Watch out for more mines. Yeah, please do. The javelin. Sniper rifle. Okay, let's take a good look. The M5 incisor. Raptor 5 Yeah, I don't know why I, why I give him the incisor Okay, let's look at the javelin Not that impressive Okay, let's leave him with the Raptor It was my original plan. You got it. At least I got the chance to change. Get below us. Roger that! We'll do! Right away! Roger that! We'll do! Sure thing. Yeah, I'm guessing that the... That the... <laughs> Could that wait uh, thing with me for everyone and not just me? I'm a little concerned that would be the case. Affirmative. I'm on it. 
Understood. Shut that AA gun off. AA guns ahead. Let's explore first. One of us has to shut down that AA gun. Carlos, are you zip? Garrus, you're up. Right. Heads up! Get! Those are awful.
So I guess this one is better. Yeah, <laughs> awful choices. I have my system. To give everyone their planes in the sun. That could be the general. Survivor over here, Commander. Looks bad. You... You heard my message. Send out a distress call. Radios are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorn hats. I... I clean engine parts. This place is filled with Geth. You should have hidden. I saw I could buy the other civilians time. Fight some Geth. There were so many. First time I've even held a gun. Can you tell me where Zalchoris is? Looking for survivors. You can radio the Admiral if you take that jamming tower offline. I know. We'll find him. Please, listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Gorus can get us out alive... ...and my son... ...tell him... ...tell Jonah... ...that his father... ...made it... ...to the home world. I'm dying. Let's get to that tower. For someone who didn't want <coughs> to be here, he certainly enjoyed it. Okay, let's go to the right. Remember that the guests do not fear fire as much as other races. Right. Uh -huh. Get turrets. Thank you. 
I'm on it. You're on it, James. If you say so. Should hop in that turret, Shepard. Understood. More gas! On the double! <laughs> Affirmative! You're on it, James. If you say so. Should hop in that turret, Shepard. More gas! Affirmative! Affirmative! Get the last one. Get by the door. for these helmets. Roger that.
Roger that. Right away! Got it. said it. If I get killed, I don't change my helmets. That's exactly what I plan to do. Looks like data on the jamming towers. Could be useful. Guessing this is where we continue our quest. you want it. No problem. You bet. Roger that. We need that guy if we're going to broker a piece here. Give us your coordinates. Leave me. My crew will soon be overrun. 
so will you. My people are non-combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them! Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're gonna end this fight. Civilians? Our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. Yes, I do. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. Okay. <laughs> There's Chorus. He's getting slowed. I've got this. You're clear. Go. Gets behind you. Get in cover. We've got to go. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. Yeah, yeah. There is no such thing! Commander, unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back. Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. <laughs> okay. Commander, we've located the Reaper base transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to creator forces. You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. We do not agree with the goals of the old machines. But we find this growth beautiful, indicative of life. Holy crap! I was banking on the gift not changing, being what they were, 
but apparently the Reapers have thrown that assumption to the garbage. All right, no, that is Reaper technology, whatever it tells me be. Or maybe, ah, holy shit. <laughs> uh. Sure, they're more complex, but saying they're alive, they have evolved. They were upgraded. And they will die for it. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. Okay. Maybe they don't have to die. You don't even think they are alive. But I do think they're useful. Commander, are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified, and they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes, it should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way. The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? That Geth fighter squadron is still tearing through the fleet. Can you hold out? If that fighter squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. I gave in to your reckless behavior before. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again, like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So, pull them back. If I withdraw now, the guests will flank us, and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. I gave in to your reckless behavior before. The patrol fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to okay. Fuck that and then guy. And you'll charge off again, like last time. Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Garrel. Thank you, Commander. It's difficult to keep him in line. Fucking moron. Well, that went surprisingly well. I mean, the conversation was a little...